Hey friends, Spicified Worm here who loves the Fireball Toaster Machine. Today to talk about that toaster, uh, aka Jotun and the Crucible. Now, I chose this topic today and it's not going to be as long of a video because uh, there's not too much to talk about. But I chose this topic today because I've seen a lot of people on subreddits and forums and stuff like that complaining about Jotun. Uh, and it's wild to me because Jotun has seen if I'm not mistaken, like no changes for literally years. Like he got a catalyst and that was it. And that was even that, that was back in, uh, what was it season 20 or no, not season 20, sorry. Uh, season 17 or 18. I think season 18 is when that happened. Whenever, you know, um, so over 3.0 got an update, but all of a sudden it is back on the menu apparently. Uh, and I know this for a couple reasons. Number one, uh, Jotun a couple weeks ago was, not following the laws of ammo pickups in the crucible. So you could pick up like 14 ammo with one brick or something crazy like that. Uh, and then also of course, Astrocross made a build surrounding Osmium and gloves, a cold snap grenades and Jotun as well. <clears throat> but so many people are talking about how hated this weapon is. Uh, and I kind of wanted to offer thoughts on it, I guess, because I don't see where everybody's coming from, you know, like, Jotun is, uh, for those of you who may not know, Jotun is basically an exotic fusion rifle that instead of shooting like a normal fusion rifle, it shoots a tracking fireball. Now, uh, I know that sounds scary, but the tracking is not really all that great. Uh, if you're strafing any amount to the left or the right, you can easily avoid the fireball. Uh, and of course, you can jump over it. You can slide under it. You can do a lot of things just to straight up avoid that fireball. Uh, and that's basically all it does. It does not have uh, an, another exotic perk. It's Catalyst. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Catalyst does give it um, incandescent and cornered. But again, those are not really PvP concerns if you ask me so basically all it is is a fusion rifle that shoots a tracking fireball with with really weak tracking uh but for some reason it is everybody seems to be talking about it and complaining about how busted it is and how it's bs and how it's the most hated weapon in the game uh and so you know this is kind of a i hate saying it, it's kind of a get good video you know and the truth the truth behind Jotun is quite frankly it is a weapon that it can catch you off guard. Like if somebody, if somebody's out of your, out of, you know, out of your, your field of view and they see you, they can hit you with Jotun. But at the same time, if they were using a sniper, they could have sniped you. If, you know, they were closing the distance, they could have used a shotgun. They could use a scout rifle to, you know, knock you down. Okay. Like Jotun does not make this, uh, does not make like a player, you know, if, okay, I'm sorry. <clears throat> let me try. Let me say it this way. If Jotun kills you, it does not mean that somebody has no skill, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And, and I noticed the same thing with Luminarch. Luminarch is, uh, of course, an exotic bow that if you hit somebody with it, it poisons them. Luminarch is really no different than a normal bow with the exception of maybe if you have enough damage boost, uh, buff, sorry, it can one shot kill, uh, you know, uh, enemies in the crucible, but really that doesn't ever happen. Like it's, it's a weapon that doesn't like it. It's not as good as everybody like makes it out to be or says it is and, and complains about. And I think that people, you know, they have it in their head that, Oh, somebody's using X weapon. That's automatically like an annoying sign. Okay. And I, and I would love to know what, what makes the, the, the community like have this collective mindset of, Oh, like Luminarch, that's cringe. Oh, Jotun, that's cringe. Like, what is it about these weapons that make people, you know, so frustrated, I guess. Now, here's the thing. Yes, I understand. Maybe if you're using it like, you know, Cross was in his video uh, where you're freezing somebody, then fireballing them. But let's be honest, like if you're getting frozen, you're probably going to die to any special weapon anyways. Like a sniper body shot could kill you. Uh, you know, a shotgun can kill you. Like anything can kill you. And even Cross in the video says the build is a meme build. Like it's not good by any means. It's it's entertaining and it's fun. Uh, so yeah, that's, you know, that's kind of that on, on Jotun. I don't know. It just, it's, it, it blows my mind that people still vent and complain about the weapon when, as soon as you know, it's on the field, like as soon as you see somebody like shooting you, just walk out of the way of it. 
really like walk out of the way of the giant fireball coming at you. And I'll, I'll be honest, like the velocity is not that fast. Like if they're pretty close to you, yeah, it can seem fast. But if they're across the map, you can literally watch it come towards you, watch it track in the direction you're walking and stuff like that and still have time to get out of the way. You know, you can still have time to, you know, slide under it, jump up over it, which I wouldn't necessarily recommend trying to jump over it or slide under it because it's, you know, Guardian's hitboxes are taller than they are skinny. Uh, so strafing out of the way is an easy way to avoid it. But yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know what it is. I guess the only thing that is is frustrating people is the fact that, you know, uh, when when Lightfall first dropped, it was really prevalent because it had an ammo glitch and everybody wanted to try out the ammo glitch. And, you know, that just brought up the whole old sores, I guess, you know, the, the reopened scars of uh, back when Jotun was still fresh and new and everybody's getting hit by it. And, oh, they're complaining because it's OP, blah, blah, blah. My opinion, Jotun has never been OP. Like it's, I don't, to my knowledge, and I don't have any patch notes pulled up, but to my knowledge, Jotun has never, ever experienced a buff or a nerf. Like it got a catalyst and that's it. And so, yeah, I don't know. That's my thoughts on that. Uh, <laughs> just, if you if you're frustrated about getting killed by Jotun, just walk out of the way of the bullet. And I know it's hard sometimes, but just keep in mind, like if you didn't see it coming, you wouldn't have seen a sniper coming. You wouldn't have seen a shotgun flank coming. Like if you didn't see that fireball coming at you, anything else would have killed you. And that's, you know, that's, that's the reality of it. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments about Jotun and why it makes you matter. You know, if you can uh, maybe deduce why people are so frustrated about it because i i can't i can't fathom why people are so mad about it like i've encountered it in the crucible uh i got killed by oh shoot iron banner happened just the other day i got killed by it once didn't get killed by Jotun again for the rest of the game because i knew how to play around it you know it's 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 simple that's simple crucible like if somebody's using you know a sniper hand cannon push him with a shotgun and a submachine gun you know if somebody's using a, a scout rifle Counter with another scout rifle or a sniper. So I'm using a pulse rifle, you know, there's, there's counters to every single play style in existence. Jotun is one of the most easily counterable play styles because you literally just have to walk out of the way. Like, it's not like, you know, a sniper where you got to, you know, crouch around and teabag and stuff like that. Like, oh, I don't want to get sniped in the head and I got to sprint and slide and all that stuff. Like, no, like literally just step two inches to the left, two inches to the right. And you're good. You're not going to get killed by it. But yeah, I've kind of rambled on enough about Jotun. But yeah, like I said, let me know your thoughts. Why do you hate it if you hate it? And give me real reasons. Uh, and of course, if you're a psychology like major or whatever, like please tell me the psychological reason why so many people hate it when it's not that good of a weapon in PvP. But yeah, that's it for me, guys. Um, of course, if you like the video, drop a like. And of course, sub to the channel because we do uh, random ass conversations like this every single day. Uh, and we have fun doing it. But yeah, that's it for me. And I will see y'all in the next one, guys. Bye for now.